welcome to my new guitar nerdery video. Today I'd like to show you how you can color up and have fun with simple chords. I see a lot of guitar players who see a chord as a fixed unit and that makes it very unflexible. I'd like to give you another point of view. A chord is actually made of notes out of a scale and it helps a lot when playing and composing when you see the scale that's surrounding the chord you're playing. In this video I'm going to use easy campfire chords and show you how you can color them up or put some melody into them by using scales so stay on the ball. I'm going to start with a simple G major triad that everybody knows. A G major triad consists of the notes root G, major third B and the perfect fifth D. Some of you might say now, hey, you first played six strings and now you play three. What's about the other three strings? It's just a repetition of notes. It's a range of two octaves, this voicing here. It's G, B, D, again G, again D, again G. So on the whole three different notes spread over two octaves. I don't want to go too much into depth with chords here, that's for another video. But let me just explain some important things. This G major triad, or a triad in general, is very few information. A major triad is part of a major scale, but it doesn't define which one. In this case, it could for example be simply G Ionian, the G major scale, or G Mixolydian or G Lydian, the difference between these scales are not in that chord. So the color of these three different scales that is still not in the G major chord can be add to it. That's pretty cool. But let me stop here. I don't want to confuse you too much. Today I'm going to use the G major scale, the Ionian scale. The G major scale fits perfectly to the standard E tuning on the guitar. All notes of the open strings belong to the G major scale. That means if you do something wrong when playing, you never hit a wrong note when hitting an open string. How cool is that? Now let me show you the G major scale. I'm gonna use all notes from the open strings up to the fifth fret. Why? Because it's all in the reach of that chord and that's what it's all about. So it's not a three notes per string pattern like I showed in a former video. It's four notes and yeah, just for practical reasons. That means all notes in the fifth fret are identical with the notes of the next open string. And on the G string we even find two notes that are also identical on the next string, on the B string. I'm gonna play all notes from the low to the high E string slow so you can pick it up. And if it was still too fast for you, please use the rewind button. I recommend to memorize that whole pattern anyway. <laughs> So that's all the G major potential we have around this chord. And let me just play the scale without these double notes. If you have memorized all the notes of the G major scale and you play that G major chord, 
You can see that this chord is part of the scale notes. If you are able to see that, you have already made a big step. And to think it further logically, if the G major chord is a part of the G major scale, the part, the other part we didn't play, that it's not in the chord, belongs also to it. We can add it to it. That means you have that chord here and all notes that you've just learned, that is your potential you can play. For example, uh, on top. Or on the B string here. The G string. string the A string and even the low E string but then we're gonna change it sounds like we're going to change the fundamental if you have not a bass player that's underneath it. Practically, you will probably going to use the first three notes or even only the first two notes of the whole range up to the fifth fret. But I showed it to you because if you practice, you can use all potential and that's within the reach. But let's do this. Let's take only two notes on a few strings and make an easy exercise of it. What you can do first is if you have that G major chord here, your index finger can easily play here these notes. And maybe if you're absolutely new to that, you can start with getting only one string managed. Start with the A string. And then you add the D string. G-string. This is actually already what it's all about. Putting some melody into your chords or it depends on 
how you play them or you can extend your chord with that extra note change it i recommend just play explore the sounds try to figure out how you have to pick if, if you pick only with the plectrum you have to develop your technique to hit the right notes you can also play it with hybrid picking i mainly want you to see the potential that lies around a chord it's not a fixed unit if you get two notes managed try three notes <laughs> The next cool thing is, don't forget that seven different chords belong to the G major scale. Each note of the G major scale that consists of seven notes can be a root of a chord. And that way we would have G major, A minor, B minor, C major, D major, E minor and F sharp diminished. With all those seven chords you can do exactly the same what we did with the G major chord because all chords belong to the G major family and the G major scale fits to them. Let's check this with some common voicings of campfire guitar. So we did it with G major. <laughs> We can do it also with C major. It's a C at nine, but a very common voicing. E minor. A minor. And of course, D major. And because D major, this voicing is played on the higher strings, we can extend it downwards. We actually played a lot of different chords because we perceive it as roots when we extend it downwards. You see, there's a tremendous amount of color and possibilities around your standard voicings. It of course also depends on your technique, how you can make use of that potential. It's up to you. This is my message for today. Now I'd like to improvise a little bit, playing some standard voicings and color them up with that scale concept and having fun. for today i hope you liked it please like and subscribe and i'm looking forward to see you next time 